Well, isn't he just a regular Mr. Silver Silverton? Hey, what's up, YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Leader Class Megatron. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is. You got Megatron looking all megatron -y. You got Transformers in red and black like a boss. There you got the Autobot logo. Same picture of Megatron. Right there on the side. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shot. 15 steps! And you have your bio right there, if you'd like to read it. And if you'd like to read it in some other languages, there you have that, there you have that, and there you have that. So you have options on how you want to read your bio, and that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Leader Class Megatron in his tank mode. And um, I will say right now, this figure is very, very cool. I really like this figure. Um, I honestly was expecting to get a big hunk of unpainted gray plastic, and I am so pleasantly surprised by how much silver is on this guy. He is covered in silver, and he looks beautiful. I love it. Getting close here so you can see, oh, the wonderful molded details. Just really, really good. You get some little bits of unpainted gray in some spots, but but he is mostly covered in silver, and that is awesome. And also, you know, again, just so much, so much molded detail going on here. You got the Decepticon symbol right there. And some more of that nice molded detail up top. Just looks really really good. Um, underneath, you can see the back of his head, you can kind of see how things are going to work a little bit there, but um, very nicely done. He does have rubber treads, and the treads do work. You got the rear ones, and the front ones here, so he does roll like a tank is supposed to roll. You have to apply a little bit of downward pressure, but he rolls the way a tank is supposed to, and that is awesome. Um, you get no movement on the turret itself due to the transformation. This is just locked in place. And the uh, the cannon itself does not move at all, again, due to the transformation. But, you know, that that may uh, disappoint the... the, 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 the this is where my tongue stops working. This may disappoint the tank enthusiast. That's what I was trying to say. But it's okay because, again, it's due to the transformation, so... Hey, it is what it is. Oh, one thing I almost forgot. One so very, very important thing. How dare I forget it. In the box, we also get the now obligatory collector's card. Yay. Nice picture, though. That's pretty cool artwork. I believe all these. Uh, I believe all the artwork used on these cards is from the, uh, from the mobile game. But yeah, collector's cards. Yay. Ooh. So anyway, for comparison, here he is with... The last Tank Megatron that we got. Here's the little Legends one. Legion, Legends, whatever. He's actually more of a scout, really. But there he is with that Tank Megatron. And here he is with a Deluxe Drag Strip. Again, just for a sense of scale. So, there you have that. Now, he does come with some accessories. He comes with this gun right here, which is nice. Molded in black plastic. That's nice details. And he also comes with uh, what I'm assuming is some kind of missile launcher thing. I'm assuming it's a missile launcher. So there you have that. And there is storage for it in tank mode. There are two ports right up here. You just take them, plug them in, and voila, there is your vehicle mode storage. But yeah. This guy is very, very cool. Very cool figure. I, I really like this. So we'll get down to transformation, shall we? Oh, one thing I forgot to point out, too, is he does have Minicon ports. He has three Minicon ports. This makes more sense for the Armada repaint, but, you know, hey, it's the same mold, so it's not like they're going to lop off the Minicon ports just for the sake of <laughs> the mold. But, um, yeah, he has Minicon ports if you want to use them. They're not functional in any way, but you can plug some Minicons on them. Why not? Dare I say why not? So, 
So you have that. So now we will get down to the transformation. We will just remove these weapons, put them off to the side. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to collapse this cannon. And one cool thing here, oh, one thing I forgot to show off is it does have the fire missile right there. Just a little red missile that pops out. It actually shoots fairly well. But one cool thing is that you have the trigger right here for the missile. When you collapse the barrel in, there's a little cutout right here. So when you collapse this in, you still have access to the trigger for the missile. And I really like that feature. That's that's clever. It's clever! Ah! So, there. Once you've done that, now we're going to move up here. And we're going to untap these front sections right here. Just bring it down to that point. Right here. Let me raise things up a little bit. There we go. Give me a little more room to operate. So once you've done that, you can bring these down slightly. You can see this is on a double hinge here. You just want to bring them down slightly. Like that. Not all the way. Just slightly. And then you want to bring them together. And you'll see there, there are tabs right here that will interlock. So you just bring them to the middle. And tab them together. Just like that. And then you can take this whole assembly and push it the rest of the way down. And you got that done. Now you're going to take these side sections here. You're going to untab them. You're going to bring it down, and it will lock in place right there with a nice little click. Bring down the foot on a nice ratchet, and there you have a leg all done. Second verse, same as the first. Just untab, bring that down, lock it in place, flip down the foot, and there you got his legs all done. Now we have to raise up the camera a bit because he gets a bit tall. Excuse me as I adjust the tripod. There we go. Once you've done that, you're going to come here to this black section here. You're going to bring that down, and then you're going to split this turret section right here. Just going to split it. Very secure, and you see it's these, uh, these two tabs right here that tab in right in there. So you take these sections, you bring them out. These will be the arms. You can take the cannon and rotate it like so. You're going to take these panels right here. They're on a double hinge. Just want to bring them out and up to reveal the hands. Same thing here, just bring that up and out, just like that. Take the crotch plates, these two tabs, we'll tab in right there. Let's bring up this crotch plate, tab that in. Then you're gonna take this section here, bring this down, and these two posts right here will plug in right there. Then you just bring that down, tab it in, bring his head down, and there you go, there you got Megatron in his robot mode, and he looks good. I really like this design. Um, it's definitely, it's, it's more of an IDW design, and um, I really, really like it. I think this looks really, really good. Um, getting close here on the head sculpt. You can see very nice head sculpt. A little bucket head there. Very nice detail again. Lots of nice silver. He has pretty good light piping. Nice evil red light piping. And uh, overall, very nice design. You get some more colors here that get brought out. You get a little bit of orange here. Some more purple. Some kind of symbol right there. You get some more of that red and silver black. A little bit of blue here. Um, so very nice. You get some red in the uh, inner part of the forms there. So you do get the G1Qs. Very nice. Very cool. I really like the way this guy came out. And again, like I said, he is covered in silver. I mean, it's amazing. It's really, really amazing. I was so pleasantly surprised by this guy and how good he looks. So, very cool. Articulation-wise, his head can do a 360. He can look up. He can look down. Uh, it's not on a ball joint. It's just... It's on a, uh, you can see here, it's, it's kind of on the mushroom peg. But you can look up and down. The shoulders, the shoulders do work a little weird. They're on this post here. They do have a nice ratchet, so you can do a full 360. He has outward movement, but you see the way this works. As you bring the arm out, the arm itself actually kind of separates from the body, allowing the shoulder room to move. I mean, and it works, it gives him a nice range of outward movement, but then this looks kind of weird. That may bug some people. I mean, it doesn't really bother me, but I figure it is worth pointing out. Again, that is on a nice ratchet. Um, and, the, and the post that the shoulder is on, you can see the post is actually 
more at the front of the shoulder than in the middle, so when you bring his arm out, it does kind of make his, you know, makes it look like his arm dropped. <laughs> so, again, nothing that really bothers me, but worth pointing out. Um, he does have clickety clackety elbows as well as a swivel at the elbow. He does have wrist swivels. He does have a waist swivel. The legs can go forward. They can go back. Again, nice ratcheting. They can go in and out. Again, more ratcheting. And these panels right here will get out of the way to accommodate. You do get a thigh swivel. And what's really nice is when you move the thigh, it exposes this piece right here with a lot more molded detail. And painted silver! It's all silver. It's amazing. So much silver on this guy. Nice ratcheting knee. You only get that much movement at the knee just due to the, the treads. And you can move his feet up and down. Again, on a nice ratchet. He does have a little bit of tilt. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but there is a little bit of tilt there. Um, now, the arm with the fusion cannon, if you notice here, it looks like, oh no, this is horrible. The cannon totally blocks the elbow joint. That sucks. Oh no. But guess what? The cannon is on a hinge. So you can bring this over, like that, you can see, let's bring that over, and that now gives him use of that elbow joint. So, that's cool, very clever. And of course, if you just want to put him in a simple Megatron, I'm going to blow your face off pose, you totally can still execute that and have it look good. So, I really like the way that works with having this on its own hinge there. So you can still make use of that elbow joint. Very, very nicely done. And of course he does have these two weapons right here, which you can plug together. There's a tab right here, a slot right there. You just take them, plug them together, and it gives him a big rifle, which he can hold. Again, I, I never see the point of giving Megatron extra weapons when he has a giant cannon on his arm, but hey. <laughs> so there he can hold his gun. Um, for storage, uh, the only thing I found is that he does have these ports right here on the sides of his legs. So I'm assuming these are meant for storage of these weapons, if you don't want him holding them. It's the only thing I've been able to find out, because there's nothing on his back that would accommodate it. Um, I guess maybe... Oh, let me see. No, I thought maybe you could plug them into these screw holes, but no, they don't fit. They don't fit. And of course he does have the ports on his forearms from tank mode, so you can totally plug the weapons in there if you want. Again, just more display options. Totally up to you, or you can leave them combined. Like this. So, you could have two arm cannons. So, again, you do have options. And oh yeah, also due to the transformation, you do get a little bit of inward and outward movement. A little bit of rocking movement that way. So, again, this is another little point of articulation that you can take advantage of if you want to. Now, he does come with a sticker sheet, a little sticker sheet. You can see he has some uh, Decepticon symbols. He has Autobot symbols. If you've been reading the comics, you know why these are here. Uh, this sticker right here is meant to go somewhere on his fusion cannon. I don't know because the instructions aren't that clear. He comes with these little kind of G1E chest stickers. But the only thing about these stickers that suck is they are on white backing. And that's not good, so that means if you take these and want to stick them on, it sticks out like a sore thumb because it's white and everything else is silver, and it just totally does not go. So I will not be using these stickers because that's the one part they didn't really uh, think all the way through. So, it is what it is, but again, cool, you get a little sticker sheet, and I guess if you want a more defined Decepticon symbol on his chest, you can plug that on there and put it on the tank. And again, like I said, if you've been reading the comics, you know why why these are here as an option. So, there you go, it's cool, you get a little sticker sheet. But yeah, loving this guy, loving him! Now, for comparison, here he is with little baby tank Megatron. Oh, precious, oh, so precious, that is precious, come on. That's just adorable. That's adorable is what it is. There you have that. Here he is with a deluxe. There you got him with drag strip. You can see how he looks there with the current deluxes. Here he is with Combiner Wars Voyager Prime. 
You can see right there how they look together. Uh, here he is with Leader Jetfire. You can see how they look together. A little bit taller at the head than Jetfire. Maybe if I straighten his legs out, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, still, still a tad taller at the head than Jetfire. And I'm sure somebody's going to ask, hey, how does the scale with Masterpiece? Okay, well, here's MP10. You can see, uh, almost, but not, not quite. He's still a bit too short. Like, like three quarters of a head shorter than Prime. So, uh, close, kind of, sort of, maybe, but not really. But and that's uh, basically it for this guy. Um, I really, I really like this figure. Like I said, I am so pleasantly surprised by this figure. Um, like I said earlier in the review, I I was expecting just a big hunk of unpainted gray plastic. I love that this guy is covered in silver. He looks amazing. The transformation is simplistic. But it works. He pulls it off well, as far as I'm concerned. You know, again, I, I speak only for myself. Um, I think the transformation works, and it works well, despite being simplistic. And he looks good. He's a good-looking Megatron. I really, really dig this toy and would, and would recommend him. Um, and if you'd like to get one of your own, you can always go to BigBadToyStore.com. There'll be a link in the description down below if you want to pick one up for yourself. I think it is a really, really cool figure. So, I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Leader Class Megatron. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud. Pull me in your face! <laughs> Hey, Wave! This is it! I found my new look! This is what I'm sticking with! Tell me I'm awesome! Hmm. Very nice! Shiny! Intimidating! Very imposing! Oh, um, I'm glad you like it! But if I may say one thing... What? Buckethead, Buckethead, Max is a Buckethead, 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 Max is a Buckethead! Scrap! Is it wrong that I have way too much fun doing that?